Oh, well, it's been a few days. We had a lot of rain. And I'll tell you, this is no way to treat your index mill components. Unfortunately, the tarp that I had over here had partially blown off. We had a lot of really strong wind that blew rain in here. And um, the top of this had water sitting in it. There's rust, flash rust on the ways on the top that, that wasn't present before. So I really did a number on that. But more importantly, what I want to show is that when I tip this on its side to get the water out, this little pin that's got a slanted side on one side and a, uh, uh, it's got actually a threaded hole on this end, fell out of here. And uh, it fell out of, come on, get my glove on so I can turn this around and show you. I'm really showing myself so that when I go to put this back together I know where it came from but essentially it, it fell out of this hole right here this is the uh, the lock mechanism right here the locking mechanism so it fell out of that hole right there then I tipped it this little short one fell out it's the same style. It's got the taper. It's got a threaded hole on one end, and it's uh, got a, a a taper on the other end. Fell out of somewhere, and because it's a uh, obviously a locking jib, I'm assuming it fell out of a hole up underneath here for this lock. One of these locks the uh, this locks the table, and this locks the saddle to the knee. So the short one is for the saddle lock and the long one is for the table lock and I'll obviously keep those with the other parts here that I put away. This should be watertight so hopefully everything here is hopefully everything in this container was spared. Drop those in there. The jibs and the hand wheel got rusty. They were down this end, which complete. This end was completely exposed. I got water sitting in here. Yeah, not good. But uh, hopefully, I'll be uh, I'll be working on cleaning that up sooner than later. All right. So what I'm doing right now, the reason why I'm moving this stuff is I want to get the stuff off the loader so I can use the loader to lift the uh, to lift the the knee off the mill. All right, I was able to lift the saddle off without getting a hernia. Got that off to the side, but the uh, table's a much uh, heavier deal, so. My plan is, I got the tarp down there, I got some wood blocking on it. I'm gonna drive up to the front of it there with the loader, slide the table onto the two blocks, and then uh, re-tarp it. Rather than look for a longer chain and change my setup here, I'm going to just slide the ramp forward enough so I can drop the bucket down a little further. Oh, even easier than sliding this forward. I only had one of these bolts locked the swivel turret. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, if I swivel it this way, then I'm going to be in the way here. I think if I swivel it back this way. Okay. Oh, that's pretty close right there. I might be going. What I'll do is I'll start lifting it. And uh, 
even if the bucket's in here, I'll swing the turret out of the way, uh, the ram out of the way. Not bad. Might want to pull the tractor forward a little bit more because right now what's going to happen is as soon as it's free, it's going to swing swing out. The shovel shift repair improves things, but by no means that it fix it. It has more to do with the linkages further down in towards the transmission that are giving me fits. So uh, it's better, but it's it's not still not right, and the brakes are still junk, so I'm going to put this big 4x4 block on the ground here so that uh, i got something to arrest my forward momentum. there and the tractor wants to roll back into it so I kind of had to do a little bit of fancy footwork there and slam on the brakes as hard as I could and then uh, throw down the uh, rear stable one of the rear stabilizers in the back for the backhoe and use that kind of as a parking brake. So I think we're about ready to from this angle here you can see that I am pretty much directly over it right now the problem is as the loader lifts it's going to change that angle I'll try and compensate for that by tilting the bucket. Well, I already talked about that I'm going to probably leave the ram on there for the moving process. I don't know how much the ram weighs. I don't know if it'll make, you know, it'll probably make a pretty decent difference if I take the ram off. Uh, this ram up here. Probably a couple hundred pounds anyways. Again, if I take the ram off, my fear is... I won't have anything really good to hook on to with the strap. I guess the only way to know that for sure would be to take it off and look down in there. I know that <clears throat> the way this turret, top of the turret here, attaches to this uh, top of the mill body is there's a bracket, there's a special bracket in there that these bolts go down into. 
So what happens is when you tighten these bolts, it pulls that bracket up and this clamping action at the top here. So to take the top of the turret off, you have to take all of these bolts completely out, lift the turret and the ram off. At that point, you can see the bracket, and the bracket, I think, can be actually moved into a certain position and tilted a certain way to actually take the bracket out through the top. That's probably a casting that uh, would definitely break if you tried lifting the uh, machine from it. So the question is, if I take the turret off and I take that bracket out, what's down inside here to hook on to? If there's a massive, you know, casting or something like that that goes in between the two here that I can hook around, I mean, that'd be ideal. I have no way of knowing that for sure, though. I hate to go through the trouble of taking this all off and then finding that I've got no way to lift this thing from overhead. Because I, it's not like, obviously, this is designed to be lifted with a fork truck through these holes in the bottom here and moved into position on a level, you know, on a one-story surface. This is not designed, this is not conducive to lowering down a basement stairwell. Anyways. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe if I turn this ram all the way forward, I can take a peek down in there. So, let's unlock this. Nope. That's pretty much a... Top of the turret's pretty much solid. There's no hole that I can see from that side. So let me peek down in there. And... Let's see if there's something in the front that I can see. Nope, all I'm looking at is solid. Goes to show you that, yeah, you can bet this is probably pretty darn heavy. Well, the less weight I have, the more manageable this is going to be. You know what's going to happen? Somebody's going to be watching this video and they're going to leave me a comment telling me either A, yeah, there's a place you can hook onto in there, or B, uh, no, don't bother taking the turret off, you'll never lift it from overhead. Problem is, by the time I read that comment and have posted this video, chances are this thing will already hopefully be in the basement. That's the problem with being so far behind on editing and posting videos. <laughs> I get a lot of good suggestions uh, after the fact. Um, Monday morning quarterbacking, I think, is what they call it. And obviously, by they don't. Uh, the people who leave those comments, uh, I I understand it. You don't realize that. You know, I shot this video on. Well, let's see. If you're watching this video, I think it's October 25th today. And if you're watching this video and it's, I don't know, Thanksgiving, <laughs> then your, uh, your help will be uh, not totally unappreciated, but a little too little too late. <laughs> I'm taking it off. Uh, I'm going to try and make sure this ram is centered. That looks about right. I'm going to tighten down the clamping bolts and nuts that keep the ram from sliding out. I'm going to take off three out of the four bolts. This one has such a big flat washer. No, actually, this one's completely unscrewed. I didn't even realize how heavy this is. It's heavy, but it's not like so heavy that I couldn't even budget. Okay. I 
like that, the crisscross strap, that makes it nice and secure. But I'm going to have trouble getting my loader down. I need another chain. There, once again, not lined up tractor far enough forward, so that'll cause a situation where it'll pop off the top and swing violently. We don't want that, so I'm going to move up a couple of feet.